Let me introduce you to the most versatile and widely used weapon, I believe, uh, on the market today. It's the Glock 19 Gen 4. As you guys know, uh, the FBI and many other federal agencies are now transferring over to the Glock 19 from their old 40 caliber guns. Um, I won't, not, it's not a Glock 19 review, it's kind of an update on my personal armory. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you know that I've kind of been back and forth with the Glock 43. I uh, wasn't really over the moon with its versatility, wasn't really over the moon with uh, the size. You know, it was a great gun when I picked it up, I was excited to pick it up, and just kind of the more I handled it, the more I used it, wasn't really into it. So, sold it, picked up this Glock 19. Now you ask, why do I get, why would I get another, a second or a third Glock 19? Well, those of you who work in, in uh, law enforcement agencies, departments, states, you know, private contracted companies, things of that nature, will know that they don't really like you modifying weapons. So because of that, I have a Glock 19 that's going to stay factory standard for if I ever need to carry that in a on duty situation or in a work situation. This Glock 19 is going to become my everyday carry concealed weapon and uh, I'm going to actually put quite a bit of time and thought and uh, I don't want to say money but money into this gun upgrading it. So you're seeing this video at the beginning. I'm actually going to run this series and keep these videos until the gun's complete or near complete rather than uh, posting a separate video for every single thing. So the first thing I want to show you guys that I put on every single Glock that I have is a snug plug. And what that is is Glocks, you know, they leave a small hole there for some reason and uh, this plug is about six bucks. All this stuff I'm going to have links to, okay, in the description, but just in the meantime, they're about six, seven dollars. It's, as you can see, it's still back, compatible with the back strap and it keeps any kind of dirt and debris getting up in there. It also helps with your reloads. So if you're not square in, it helps you reload. You know, it helps you get that magazine seated. Absolutely essential uh, upgrade, I think. Absolutely, um, you know, wouldn't have a Glock without one of these. The second upgrade that is already on this gun is the night sights. The factory sights that come on Glocks are again horrendous I think so I just put some Trigicon night sights on here same thing these are about 95 bucks there'll be a link to these as well and they're just a much better versatile sight they're not made out of plastic like the factory Glock sights are they're made out of I believe aluminum or some kind of other metal but that's not super important um, You'll see later on in the video, like I said, because I'm going to string all these together, but I have an Agency Arms flat face trigger coming. I'm going to do a polish on that. I've already done a 25 cent trigger polish on all the internals. I got a um, kind of a stipple in the works. I'm still deciding if I'm going to go through the stipple or not, but either way, keep an eye on this video. Uh, I guess you're going to have to because, like I said, it's all going to be strung together, but looking forward to, uh, to showing you this project when it's complete or as it's complete in this series. One of my original plans was to do the pictured uh, titanium safety plunger. However, a lot of the reviews I read said that after about 500 rounds, they just, you know, they start chipping, they start wearing out, and I couldn't take the risk, you know, that it was one of the, one of the few things that I, I took the reviews, um, you know, for their weight in gold, and there are just enough reviews, as you can see pictures, that, that said these things don't hold up long enough and aren't reliable, and I just can't take that risk. So I ended up doing the 25 cent trigger polish on my safety plunger instead, and ended up sending back this titanium uh, safety plunger, which, uh, as from some of the reviews, says it's not even titanium at all, it's just loosely coated. Um, so like I said, I just couldn't take the risk. Guys, the next addition to the ultimate everyday carry awesome amazing Glock 19 is going to be this Agency Arms trigger trigger shoe. Now, it comes with the trigger shoe, comes with the connector. Here, let me just break it down real quick. It comes with the trigger shoe, it comes with the standard OEM bar here. 
and it comes, see how polished that is? It comes with a Glock three and a half pound trigger. Now the nice thing about these Agency Arms triggers is they use Glock factory parts, let me move this mouse out of the way, they use Glock factory parts to keep the majority of it factory as much as they can. Obviously the trigger shoe is not, but guys this has to be one of the nicest pulling triggers I think I've ever pulled. Now, as you can see, small take up, there's the wall, it's right there. Watch this reset. Incredibly nice, I would highly recommend it. 150 bucks, yeah, it's a little bit of money, but absolutely outstanding addition. Um, makes it a much better carry gun. I wish we could put these on uh, duty related weapons, unfortunately we cannot, but like I said, I would highly recommend it. It comes with a flat face trigger, as you can see there. So it basically, what a flat face trigger does is help you have an even pull across the entire face of the trigger instead of the stock Glock trigger being rounded on the side, kind of promotes kind of promotes a, a pulling on the side which which makes you twist so promotes a straight back pull uh, it comes with polished factory Glock internals highly recommend it and guys the last mod for now is gonna be this Inforce APL stands for automatic pistol light it's uh, my first one of these I've, I've usually used the uh, Streamlight TLRL TLR1 before, but I figured I'd give one of these a try just because they look a bit more streamlined. You know, from the top, they pretty much match the barrel. Again, this is on a Glock 19. On a Glock 17, they're pretty much almost flush with the barrel. And uh, the reason I like it is because it uses these uh, push buttons rather than the, the toggle switch that TLR1 uses. Um, I've always kind of been on the fence with carrying a weapon light with uh, a CCW gun. And, you know, I'll probably get a holster for each so I could take this on or, or take this off or leave it on. And, uh, you know, that's it. So, kind of the Glock's done for now. We've got the Agency Arms trigger, the polish job, the trigger connector, the upgraded sights, the snug plug. I'm still on the fence about stipple. So, right now, obviously, I have the, the standard grips, no back strap. I'm still on the fence. I definitely know I want to get a cut here so you can get a higher purchase on the uh, on the grip. So at a minimum, I'm going to get the uh, the reduction where you know they they cut they just basically carve this out a little higher. Um, still on the fence about stipple. You know, locally here I get it for about 200 bucks, and um, you know, just one of those things you're kind of nervous about because it's kind of irreversible, obviously. So. Uh, right now, you know, the gun's perfect for everyday carry, and um, like I said, just the last thing is going to be that stipple, and if I do end up doing that, I'll upload a new video. So let me know your thoughts. Um, like I said, absolutely outstanding gun. I would highly recommend if you're going to buy one gun, I think it should be a Glock 19. If you're going to upgrade it at all, I love this trigger. I'm going to put a link to all, all the stuff uh, that's available to you. And uh, ask any questions, share your concerns, comments, thoughts. And other than that, thanks for watching.